Girls, it's Crystalline, and today's video is going to be an unboxing video of the Sensibles bags. Um, and like, yeah, just the Sensibles disposable bags company for um, disposal of feminine hygiene products. It's kind of like the Masket company, except it's a little bit different, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. So, yeah, um, I am super grateful to the Sensibles company, and especially Anne at the Sem Sensibles company, for being willing to send me your product. Um, I have been in contact with them for quite some time now, and I am very grateful that they um, sent me their product and that it's here so I can do a review for you girls and all of that fun stuff. And I know it's from the Sensibles company because it does say Sensible Source Company right there, so that's how I know. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. Um, there, I'm pretty sure she sent me some stuff to do a giveaway on, so I will hopefully be doing that in the future. But please don't ask me or, like, constantly ask me and stuff to, um, do a giveaway on them. Because I will do it when I think it's the right time to do it. Um. Oh. Maybe not. Because there's nothing else in here. So. Hmm. So this is what it looks like. Just looks like that. Um. Mmm, they're scented. Oh, well, duh, sensibles, they have scent. <laughs> um, scented bags for clean, easy, secret disposal of pads, tampons, panty liners, and wipes. Um, stylish pink flower pattern with a pleasant, fresh fragrance. That's one thing that the Masked Company doesn't have, is they are not scented. Um, anatomical additive inhabits growth of odor causing bacteria. Easy tie handle closure. Um, holds varying sizes of feminine care products, trouble-free alternative to flushing, um, and yeah, so then it just has the sanitary solution you need anytime, anywhere, um, perfect for home, carry some with you on the go, pull, this is just the instruction, so you just pull it out, insert and insert like gear pad or whatever, and then you tie it up, and then you toss it into the waste bin, and it says do not flush. So this has 50, um, single-use bags in it. That's what the package looks like, and it also came with this, like, informational paper, which I will quickly look over. Oh! I got a note! Okay, so it just says, um, wait, maybe I shouldn't read this out loud, hold on. Oh, I can read it out loud. Okay. Dear Crystalline, wow, I cannot talk. Dear Crystalline, please read the attached about paper, um, please read the attached, um, paper with, that talks about the disposal of feminine care products and include some tips in your video. Also, please don't forget to demonstrate using a Sensibles bag. Love, forward, looking forward to see your video. Sincerely yours, Anne. Thank you so much again, Anne. Um, I will be making a how to use these, um, the Sensibles bag in a different video, just so this video doesn't get too long, but make sure you girls go watch that video. Hopefully, um, once it's uploaded, I will leave a link down below, so check that out if it's been uploaded. And so this is just talking about, um, the proper disposal of it all, and proper disposal practices wrap it up. Properly disposing of sanitary pads, panty liners, and tampons is just as important as choosing the right sanitary protection product. Whether it's a disposable sanitary pad or a tampon or a reusable product like washable cloth, um, like cloth menstrual pads or menstrual cups, proper disposal instructions needed need special attention. Period. Like, it says period and then dot. Get it? <laughs> um, some of the anxiety and embarrassment about having a period can be eased by understanding what's right and what's about understanding what's right and what's right when it comes to throwing away feminine care products in restrooms, at school, at a friend's home, at the mall, in your own bathroom, and there's nothing to be ashamed of when you're making noise, opening up, um, using and wrapping sanitary protection products in a woman's restroom. Having a period is natural and every woman, every woman who visits a public washroom has a period and a washroom is just a bathroom. Um, so it just talks about sanitary pads and panty liners, um, how to use, like how to dispose of them. Um, it talks about tampons, how to dispose of those, away from home washrooms, and it just says most ra away from home, it just, away from home, like, if you're in the bathroom, away from home. Um, most restrooms have a metal or plastic hinged reciprocal bin, 
and the stall to dispose of sanitary pads, panty liners, and tampons. And I know my school has those. You just open up the little lid and they have a little bag inside and you just put it in the bag and you're done. Um, well, you wrap it up in like toilet paper or whatever and then you're done. Um, use These units are very unsanitary and are the most contaminated spot in a woman's restroom. Use toilet tissue to open the lid of the reciprocal to, dis to discard products. I always do that because I kind of think it's nasty because what if somebody before you had blood on them? And they got it all over the thing. That's nasty. <laughs> I don't want to be touching anybody else's menstrual blood. Just my own. Nobody else's. Um, never throw away any unwrapped items in this waste reciprocal. Even when the bin is aligned with paper bag or plastic. So again, I always wrap mine up. No one should have to view, smell, or handle discarded products, including janitorial workers. Place a sanitary product inside a paper or plastic disposal bag. If one is not provided, wrap it up in toilet paper and totally conceal the soiled item. If there is not a special disposal bin or a garbage can in the stall, use sanitary products should never be less left lying on the floor. That's nasty. Um, wrap up the soiled product in a disposable bag or toilet paper. Carry it out of the stall. Throw it away in the, rush in the washroom trash can or bathroom trash can. Immediately wash your hands after discarding of sanitary products and using the bathroom. Then it talks about at home and... Just a whole bunch of different things um, on how to use them at home and stuff like that. So to learn more about Sensible's scented single-use bags, specially made for clean and easy, discreet, disposable of sanitary pads, tampons, please visit www.sensiblebags.com. I will leave the link to their website down below. Um, a portion of the proceeds from any of their sales of the Sensible's um, products is donated to provide feminine hygiene products and Sensible disposable bags to teens and women in need interested in starting a collection drive for sanitary products in your community visit www.padparties.com so yeah um i am going to just quickly open this up and show you girls what the bags look like then i will make a separate video saying like a demonstrational video on how to do um use the sensible bags and stuff like that so you just it has this little punch thing and you just punch it out takes it out and mm -hmm. Kind of smell pretty good. Um, kind of, kind of hard to get out. You just kind of have to like look at. Like that's why I lick my fingers, just because I want to come off. But lick it, and then just perfect. These are a lot more heavy quality than I than I thought they would be. Like they're a lot like thicker bags. I like these. Wow. Oh, okay. So this is what. It looks like when you get them out, it's just like a little bag. It kind of reminds me of like a little grocery bag or something. And then you would just go like this, and then it's the bag. You would insert your product in there. Then you would simply just tie it up like that, and then like double knot it, and then throw it away. Um, and I will show you a demonstration of this in my next video um, that will hopefully be uploaded after this. So stay tuned to that stay tuned for that video and thank you girls so much for watching and i will see you in my next video please give this video a thumbs up if you if you want to see more videos from me and um leave comments questions down below and i'll be happy to answer them no my kick is not working i'm actually not doing kick anymore so if you tried kicking me i'm not doing it anymore just for personal reasons and i'm kind of done with kick i don't really like it that much it's I don't know, so don't message me on Kick because I won't get it and it's not working for me and I'm not doing it anymore. I've deleted my um, profile thing. So, yeah, thanks so much for watching and again, thank you so much to Anne and the Sensibles Company for being willing to send me your products. Girls, I'll leave the link down to their website down below and have a great day, girls, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, girls.